Can you figure out the answer to this math problem? So here is the question. Ben and Amy are saving money. Together they saved $60. Amy saved twice as much as Ben. How much did they each save? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the right answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, the question is, Ben and Amy are saving money. Together they saved $60. Amy saved twice as much as Ben. How much did they each save? So let's take a look at the answer. Uh, the correct uh, solution here is Amy saved $40 and Ben saved $20. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Now, if you didn't get this right, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem. But this is actually a pretty easy problem to kind of play around and figure out. So if you got this right and you did not use algebra, that is fantastic. So let's see the solution to this problem now. So the first step in solving any math problem is to make sure you actually understand the question. And the question here is, how much did each person save? So we are really looking for two amounts. How much did Ben save? And how much did Amy save? Now, as I indicated in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem. Now, some of you got the right answer and you did not use algebra because the numbers here are actually pretty easy to work with. But uh, if the uh, numbers were more complicated, I can assure you that you want to use algebra. Now, why is that? Well, in algebra, we can uh, use variables like X and Y to represent unknown values, i.e. the things that we are looking for. So if I let the variable X represent how much uh, Ben saved, and maybe uh, we'll let the variable Y represent how much Amy saved, well, we can solve this problem if we can figure out what X and Y are equal to. But you can't solve for variables in algebra unless you have an algebraic equation. So we're gonna to have to build some equations here and then solve for X and Y. So let's uh, kind of write down exactly what these variables are going to represent. So we'll let X equal the amount Ben saved and then we'll let Y equal the amount Amy saved. Now that we have our variables here, we need to use some algebra to solve for X and Y. So the kind of algebra that we're talking about here is something called a two variable linear system. Now I know that sounds very uh, you know, complicated, but really it's not that difficult. But here is a real big idea in algebra that you need to understand. So if you're only looking for one variable like X, all we need is one equation, all right? So if you have one variable, all we need is one equation, but we have two variables here. So we're going to need to build two equations. So generally speaking, the amount of variables you're trying to solve for is the amount of equations that we need to build. And we need to build these equations from the information in the problem. So let's do that now. All right, so here is the word prom. And of course, we're gonna use all the information to build these two equations. So let me show you these equations. And then of course, I will explain them uh, to you. So X plus Y is equal, equal to 60. So what does X represent? Well, remember X is the amount that Ben saved and Y is the amount that Amy saved. So remember here, the problem is telling us that together they saved $60. So Ben's amount plus Amy's amount is $60. So a simple equation that we can build right here is X plus Y is equal to 60. But we do have another piece of information. Remember, uh, we need to build two equations. So Amy saved twice as much as Ben. Okay, so X is the amount that Ben saved. So two times X is twice the amount Ben saved. 
and that is equal to y, which is the amount that Amy saved. So here, x plus y is equal to 60, and y is equal to 2x. This right here is our two-variable linear system. Now we're going to go ahead and take a few algebraic steps to solve this system. Now that we have our system, what we need to do is solve for these variables x and y. So the main idea here is that we want to build one equation with only one variable. So you can see here, this equation has x and y, and this equation right here has also x and y. But what we want to do here is just get one equation with either all x's in it or one equation with all y's in it. So there's different methods that you learn in algebra to do this, but in this case, if we notice, y is equal to 2x. Well, we can actually substitute, substitute this y right here for 2x because y and 2x are the same thing. So if we uh, replace this y or substitute it with 2x, we'll end up with one equation in all x. And then, of course, we can solve for x. And then once we have that answer, we can easily figure out what y is equal to. So let's do that now. This is actually called the substitution method. So we have x plus y is equal to 60. We're going to substitute 2x for y. So anytime you are substituting in uh, mathematics, especially algebra, you want to use parentheses. So y is going to be the same thing as 2x. So now we have x plus 2x is equal to 60. And this is what we want. What we, want. we have one equation with the variable x and x only. So now we can solve for x. So we have x plus 2x is equal to 60. x plus 2x is 3x, so 3x is equal to 60. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 60 divided by 3 is 20. All right, so x is now equal to 20. So now let's go ahead and uh, figure out what y is equal to. So we can use that other equation, y is equal to 2x. And we know uh, now that x is equal to 20, so we can replace this x with 20. So y is equal to 2 times 20, or 40. Okay, so what is x and y? So remember, x is the amount that uh, Ben saved. And of course, that is uh, 20. x is equal to 20. And y is equal to 40. That is the amount that Amy saved. All right, so if you got something out of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you need additional help in algebra, check out my uh, math courses, especially my pre-algebra, Algebra 1, or maybe my Algebra 2, or maybe even my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all of those in the description uh, below. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.